I think it is really significant. If you look at these figures, uh, what jumps out at you is what an incredible football club Manchester United is uh, and what extraordinary potential it has. Because there's a lot of good news in there. The fact that, you know, there's 145,000 people on the waiting list for season tickets. The fact that they've got 360,000 paying members, more than any other sports club in the world. The fact that they're doing well again on the pitch under Eric Ten Hag. The fact that commercial revenue has gone up. OK, broadcast revenue has gone down because they're not in the Champions League. Uh, match day revenue has gone down a little bit because there were uh, fewer games at Old Trafford uh, in the final three months of last year. But the big elephant in the room is the debt and the borrowing. 18 years ago, Manchester United was a debt-free club and it had been debt-free, I think, since the 1930s. It was self-financing. The Glazers came along, bought the club for £790 million, £270 million of it was their own money. The rest of it was borrowed, £550 million. They loaded that onto the club. And 18 years later, that debt is still £535 million. And then factor in all the money that has gone out of the club, over a billion pounds in dividends, bank charges, interest payments. This is what is holding Manchester United back. And I haven't even mentioned the borrowings. There's another £200 million of... Uh, borrowings, which means that total borrowings at Manchester United are £741 million. And when you digest all this, you understand why, on the one hand, the Glazers want to sell Manchester United, and you also understand why they're asking for £6 billion. Because without these borrowings, without this debt that has nothing to do with Manchester United, United would be in a far, far better shape.